Hi friends, today we'll see an MVC design pattern with a database connectivity code. So let's create a new project. Let's give this as before creating any project, let's create a database layer. So for that, we'll create a new project of Windows and that will place a clearer. We just create a class library called as let's say database layer. So here you'll see one class is there. Just delete that class. We don't require this class. Now we need to add one item called as area.net entity model so let's give the name for this like data model let's add it let's generate a database now we'll have to create a connection so I'm connecting to the database by giving my server name and I'm selecting my database We'll see my database is SwimCA. Just pick the, test the connection succeeded. Okay, and just change the name. Let's give the name as SwimCA DB entities. Let's go for next. You'll see I want this two things. Just click finish. So you'll see my data model gets added over here. Save this. Let's save this in my default folder database layer and build this database layer project. Now you'll see the tables get added over here. We have some procedures written. For example, I've written the procedure to insert the student details. So this procedure it gets added over here having two parameters student ID and student name. I hope you know how to create a stored procedure. So I'm just moving ahead for MVC code. Now just save this, build this database layer and just close this. Now start with your MVC project. So create a new project which will be my web mvc2 web application let's give the name mvc project let's click ok so it will ask you for unit test project so don't create this project now you'll see here like m stands for model view and this controller so these three things are really important so if i select views you have site master available over here so dynamically if you want some links to be displayed over here you can add here for example by default home and about link will be get open now i'll add two links for example this will be my add student student let's give this as create this will be in my student folder let's see the display student this will show you the entire list of students Now here we need to add the references first so that we can see the entire records of that SYMCA table. So here what we need to do is first just go to the references, add the reference and I'll just browse to your database layer where we have actually saved in this folder and just connect your DLL file. So DLL database get added over here. Now we need one more reference 
which will be your system dot entity dot data data dot entity sorry so just click that so you'll see that reference gets added over here now we need to configure your database connection so here if you'll open this web dot con config file we have by default connection name is av available application services but we want our database layer to be connected so we require that connection string so let's go for that connection string which is there in my project in database layer you'll see uh, in app folder that connection string is available so I'm just copying that in my web config in my web config folder so again open that your project and in your web config folder just save this now next thing is we need to create views so first of all yes one more thing we need the configuration for the data entity so here we require an additional assembly called system dot data dot entity with version 4.000 culture neutral but public key token will be different so you'll get it from in the websites because it is not inbuilt available in your visual studio 2010 so you can get it from the internet so I have that uh, assembly with me it's in my different folders so I'm just taking off that assembly So this is my assembly I'm just putting into my putting it in, into my web.config just pasted that assembly so this is now in my assembly here that is on somewhere so I need to just take it out that again okay now this configuration part is over just close this all now next thing is we need to create an views so I'm just creating views add folder in that folder let's create a student folder in that student folder I need to add views so my first will be index page now in that index page I want to show the details of entire students so I'm just selecting that student database layer dot student master and I want to display as a list just add it so on my index page you'll see the student ID student name so this will display you the list now I want to add one more view called as create so here I'm going to create a view with create content view content option let's click add so here create view gets created now the purpose of models I need to create a model before that we need to just create a controllers add the controller for the student and just enable this create update delete and now you'll see this 
functions have been written over here but without logic now I need to import that database layer because I want to show that entire details on my index page so here I'm going to show all that details first of all I need to create the object of SYMCA DB entities let's give create an object equals to new SYMCA DB entities now here on index page you will display the data so we are here we required link queue code so let's give the name as to equals to from from c in underscore entity dot student masters order by c dot student id and you have to just return as to this is for index page to display all the student records order by student is giving you error okay and one more statement is required that is select C here we need to stop so this is a link you code now next thing is if you want a details to be displayed individual students of individual students so we we have a detail section over here so you can also write let's I'm just copying that same code but with, with some changes So here where we need to give the condition where c dot student will be equal to id just put everything into the bracket and I want that to be first order default and return that student so this will be display this will display you as individual record of a student now as we have added one detail section so let's add one detail section also in the views this will be my details so here it will display the student details just add it okay. so initially we have displayed all the details first of all the list of students and in, when you click on the details section it will display your individual student let's execute a project then afterwards we'll proceed for inserting the records so let's display the students so you'll see all the students when you click on details section it will display the individual student details when you go back it will again show you the same details now when you click on create new it will display you the fields but this code will not work until and unless and until you write the code for create so we'll write the code for create as I said we have to use models here so I'm just adding one model let's give the name as student class so here I'm just giving database connectivity code system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client as we're using SQL server so we need to import use these two namespaces now I'll just use SQL connection equals to null I'll write one common function called as public work and get connection and initialize con object connection 
here we need to pass on the connection string so you can get this connection string from your uh, server explorer see here if you just right click properties you can just copy this connection string paste it here and just make one additional slash so this function will help us to establish a connection with the database now here I'll add a code for power before that I'll, I'll need we need to just take some variables like I'm taking some variables such as student ID taking student name and I need to add some properties over here so I'm adding properties called as public end student code and I'm adding some getter setters over here so get and set so when you're getting that values it means you are returning something return your student ID and you are setting something means you are assigning some values to that student ID similarly for student name let's take this as student name and let's assign the value student name so this is over you can just build this but yes one more thing here it is a string so we need to here take a string so build this again succeeded now this model part is completed we need to take this properties and this functions on the controller part so let's come back again to the controller student controller where we have function called create where we need to write a logic for calling the procedure now just once you've created that class student class model class we need to just import the package that using mvc project dot models so if you have imported that it means you can create the object of that student so student class student class oh my god one sec student class let's get this object equals to new student class we have created the object it means you can access the methods of the student class now now we have to write the logic for insertion so before that we need to again import that packages that are system.data I'm sorry that not packages exactly their name space system dot data dot sql client so come back again to the code now here we have to take some command let's give this as sql command cmd equals to null Now here, CMD, before start with the CMD, let's call the get connection. Now initialize that CMD equals to new SQL command. Here we have to call that procedure insert student and this will take as second parameters con oh my god we have not declared con as public so let's give this con variable as public come back again here and obj dot con now 
next thing is cmd dot command type which will be command type dot store procedure now we need to add the parameters to the store procedure so we need to add cmd dot parameters dot add first parameter was of procedure is student id comma its data type is uh, int then data type is sql db dot int dot value equals to convert dot to int 32 can just take the values from the form so this will be request dot form here student code we have to take and it should be dot to string string second parameter we need to take as student name so here no need to convert that into integer because it is already taking that variable as a string here only thing is we need to change the data type dot and where cache here also we need to change the parameter as student name so these two parameters are of stored procedure parameters now just open the connections so obj dot con dot open and cmd dot execute non query as it is not returning anything so obj dot con dot close so this will close the connection and uh, we are returning ok index we are returning view that's it so this will be a code for inserting the student details into your table now let's check it first whether we have missed out something now come back to the create aspx page now you will see it will give you error because we have taken the model as your from the database layer but we want to take it from your mvc project project dot your models dot student class so this will be a new model now here when you just change the this will be our student code this will be student code this will be student code student name yes it is okay so this is working fine now let's execute this now let's add the student first let's add student 1827 let's say student is great so you'll see 1827 Vikran Shaka added over here okay so this is the MVC code for insertion Thank you.